Hello you guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and in this video I'm going to show you how I quickly edit skin tones in Lightroom. Now maybe you're like me. I used to struggle a lot with skin tones. I don't like that washed out look. It doesn't reflect my personal style so this is how I can warm up some skin tones and make it a bit more true to life and it's super easy. It's just two different things in Lightroom and I'm going to show you how I do it. So I'm going to be looking at my computer during this video. I have Lightroom pulled up right now and this is a picture that I took at a recent wedding and so you can see it's already edited here. I edit with the Mastin Labs preset in Lightroom. I can link that video down below how I edit using those presets but to me the skin tone, okay my personal style, I want to fix. The first thing I do is I'm going to scroll down on the right hand side here and go to color grading and expand that tab. Most of the time it's not default expanded. And you can see mid-tone shadows, highlights. Um, I'm going to go, if you click here, you can just edit the shadows or mid-tones or highlights. We're going to highlights, okay? So what does this do? <sighs> Let's say we want the hue to be blue, okay? it's only gonna edit the highlights of the image, so the brightest parts of the image. So in the shadows, right, it's going to edit the darkest part of the image. And midtones is in between, makes sense. So we're gonna go to highlights here and I'm gonna type in the number 35. That is the hue that I like to use for skin tones. So I'm gonna show you what happens if I slide it all the way over. You see how, I mean, obviously it's very orange. <laughs> I like that orangey tone here, right? But, and then this is with nothing. So I'm going to increase this a bit because what it's doing is it's warming up the her and his skin tones. You can see how much warmer the overall images as well as their skin tones. But for me, this isn't over yet. So that's step one. Step one for me is color grading. Using the highlights to quickly, you know, warm up their skin tone so it's not as washed out and pale. But another thing that I do when it comes to skin tones is I come right here to the masking tool and I go to the color range and I click on her skin, right? So I want it to really only be on her, the skin tones, not, I mean, her dress is going to be in it, but not how it was where the whole thing was highlighted. I really want it to be primarily their skin tone. And now we can touch on the exposure, and this is what I do. I pull down the exposure a bit. Now, obviously, you can go crazy with this, right? So I do not go past 0.2. So I'm gonna be happy right in here, and I'm actually gonna go back and warm up this a bit more too. So I am happy with this, the skin tones in this image. Let me show you another one. Okay, so here is another image from a different wedding, obviously. This was a very overcast day, very cloudy. So the same thing, scrolling down here, the hue is going to be 35, going to increase the saturation. I mean, his face already looks so much more alive by just doing this part. Um, and then also going into the masking tool, color range, touching on his skin tone, and that's a little bit too much, so I might just do 0.10. And to me, that makes it look so much less washed out. So let's go find another one. Okay, we're gonna edit this image here, and now I gotta fix how I decrease this by one. Okay, you can see this is a lot brighter of an image. Behind them was a lake, and it's just a lot brighter of an image. You can see their skin tones look very white, and very pale, in my opinion. So scrolling down here, Again, hitting the highlights, going 35 as the hue. We're gonna warm it up. See how much, like this is very warm, obviously. 
but I like. I also like a little bit warmer of an edit, to be honest. It's just my style, so maybe it's not yours. So this warmed up their skin tones, I don't know, a little bit here. But we're going to go to color range and the masking tool, then the color range, touching on their skin tones. And you can see that's so much better, in my opinion. <laughs> So now their skin tones, to me, they don't look so pale. They don't look washed out. They look like regular normal human beings. So that's why I really like this tool specifically. We're gonna do one more photo. So you can see this is already edited and her skin tone looks a little too bright to her actual skin tone here. So we're gonna go down to color grading again. We're gonna go to that hue and you can see Maybe, you know, obviously it's warming it up a little bit more. So we're going to warm it up slightly. Going to this right hand side, hitting the masking tool, hitting the color range. And I'm choosing the lightest part of um, like the, the skin. And then I'm going to decrease it slightly like that. So now her skin tone looks way more natural to what it, her natural skin tone looks like, I should say. This is what her more natural, true to life, true to color skin tone looks like. And now it is reflecting of that versus, you know, a more pale version of that. So this is how I edit skin tones very very quickly just two steps color grading and masking tool so i hope you found this video helpful i hope it helps you with you know trying to get your skin tones to be a bit more true to color true to life if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time bye